Why? What are you doing? I'm flying the ship. This thing is fun. Stop it. You're going to make me sick. I can't even eat my lunch. That's why I always stick to fast food. Hmm. That might account for a few things. Weren't we just here? No, why? This is the second planet on our journey. It's called Uranus, and it was named after some god of the sky. Are you sure it's not called Uranus? No, why? It's called Uranus. In fact, I even heard this earthling pronounce it that way. So you know it has to be correct. Well... It sure looks a lot like the last place we came from. And I was pretty sure I heard someone call it Uranus. Be that as it may, we need to initiate our scan. Let's see what ship's sensors can tell us about Uranus. See? It looks just like the last one. Hmm, it does look similar, why? But see here? There are some unusual differences. Take a look. Uranus is the seventh planet from this system's star. It has 13 rings, 27 moons, and an axial tilt of 97.8 degrees. Um, what does that mean? It means the planet is sort of laying on its side in respect to its orbit. Ship. What have your scans discovered about Uranus? As it turns out, Y is actually onto something. The structure of Uranus is nearly identical to Neptune. The atmosphere is composed of hydrogen, helium, and methane. The mantle is composed of water, ammonia, and methane ices. And as far as my scanners can penetrate, it appears the core is rocky composed of silicates and nickel iron. See? It appears that Uranus also has a similar climate to Neptune, with wind speeds of 900 kilometers per hour or 560 miles per hour, slightly less than Neptune. Human database indicates that Uranus can reach temperatures as low as negative 224 degrees Celsius or negative 371 degrees Fahrenheit, which is colder than Neptune. Therefore, Uranus can also be defined as the coldest planet in the system, if defined by the lowest recorded temperature, rather than the lowest average temperature. Hmm, very interesting. Uranus takes 84 years to orbit the Sun at an average distance of 3 billion kilometers, or nearly 1.9 billion miles, or about 20 astronomical units. I think that's less than Neptune's 4.5 billion kil uh, meters. Excellent, why? Uranus is slightly larger than Neptune, with a diameter of approximately 51,000 kilometers or 32,000 miles compared to Neptune's diameter of approximately 49,000 kilometers or 31,000 miles. We shall also classify this planet as an ice giant. Is all this data boring you? Why? Huh? Huh? Me? No. I love lots of facts and figures. But, um, couldn't we have a little more excitement? Maybe some angry alien we could pew 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 with our lasers or something. Why, we are an exploration vessel. We don't even have lasers. I am equipped with several trionic lasers. Oh. That's curious. Now we're talking. I'm sure they're only for self-defense, why? Now let's move on. Ship, what else can you tell us? Traveling nearly on its side, 
Uranus travels 18 billion, 26 million, 744,947 kilometers, or 11 billion, 201 million, 300,000 miles in 84.3 Earth years on its orbit around the Sun, with one pole pointing towards the Sun for half that time, and the other pole pointing away, which means that for nearly 42 Earth years, half of the planet is in darkness, followed by the other half in darkness for the next 42 Earth years. Why is it on its side? Current theories suggest that during its early formation, Uranus was struck by one or more planets, or that Uranus used to have a large moon that caused it to tilt but was later lost by a close encounter with another large planet. That's a lot of information to take in, ship. Before Wise head explodes, let's catalog this planet, launch a probe, and make our way to what the Earthlings call Saturn. I am starting to get a headache. All right then, and no more crazy flying. This time, warp us there so we can avoid your hurl-inducing fun ride. Cool. Warp Actify. What?